back to Charlie Can, and today I'm going to be looking at some strange animals from around the world, and I'm going to be trying to guess if the names of them and if it's real or fake. And if I get more right than wrong, then I get a prize. And if I get more wrong than right, I have a punishment. All right, let's look at our first strange animal. What is that? It has like little antler things. It looks like like fake eyelashes like spread out like. So here are our choices of what this animal could be. So it's either A, an alien cricket, B, a grape-eyed butterfly, C, Venezuelan poodle moth, or D, it's fake. Okay, I'm gonna have to say A, an alien cricket. Okay, let's see if I was right. It's a Venezuelan poodle moth, and it's real. I thought about guessing that. The, Velen the Venezuelan Poodle moth is an unidentified moth photographed in 2009. It gets its name from its physical appearance across between a moth and a poodle. I don't think it looks like a poodle. It looks like an owl. 75 photos of the moth were taken, but only a few are available to view. What? Why? That's, it's cool. People probably want to be aware. It's like a warning. If you see this, hmm, run. Let's move on to the next animal. Here we go. What is this? Is that a frog? What is that? It's so weird. It's like camouflage. There's no way that's an animal. There's no way. Okay. So A is frowny face, fr frowny face flounder. I don't know, it doesn't really sound real. B, red-lipped bat fish. C, poppin' lipstick goblin fish. Or D, it's fake. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with B, red-lipped Red-lipped batfish. I don't know why. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I got it right. The answer is B, red-lipped batfish. It, it's real. A very unusual fish found around the Galapagos Islands and off Peru. This fish is mainly known for its bright red lips. Batfish are not good swimmers. They use their fins to walk on the ocean floor. Okay. That does not look real. Imagine you're swimming in the Galapagos Islands. You're just swimming, you know, having a good time. And you see this thing wearing some red lipstick. What? All right, here we go. That looks like it has a bunch of sewing needles in it. What? It's a mix between like an ant and a porcupine. <laughs> okay, this looks really fake. Okay, A, panda ant. B, bearded wasp. C, furry buddy fly. Or D fake. It's not. I don't think it's furry butter, furry buddy fly because it doesn't have wings. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with A panda ant. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> I got it right again, and it's real. This species was discovered in 1938 and inhabits the Chilean forests. It's called the panda ant due to its coloration like a panda bear. It has a painful and powerful sting. 
You're literally going to get poked by needles. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, that's actually pretty. But it, it has a tail. But that's actually, wait. I just noticed what's different about it. It has ears and a tail? I didn't even notice that because of all the pink flowers and blossoms. What? Okay, the answers are A, Japanese monkey parrot, <laughs> B, long tail finch, C, dango bird sparrow, or D, fake. I think it's D fake because it has like elf ears. It literally has elf ears and like a mouse tail. <laughs> okay, let's see if I was right. Answer D fake. I was right. I am on a literal, literal roll. A literal roll. This is not real. It was made from photos of the Japanese white eyed bird and a monkey. All right, here we go. Okay, there is no way that's real. It it looks like so it's like a weird, like slimy ocean thing, and its tail is like the top of an ornament, like those weird spiky metal things on the top of an ornament. It's like this weird circle, and it has some mouse ears. Guys, I think this is fake. Let's just read the answers. A, ocean peeps. B, cotton worm. That is not a worm. That looks like fungus or something. C, C, bunny slug, or D, fake. I'm gonna go with it. D fake, D fake for sure, okay? See if I was right again. It's your sea, sea bunny slug. It's real. It's a sea bunny slug. What? The bunny slug species is a species of sea slug found in the Indian Ocean and off the coast of both Japan and the Philippines. They're mostly white in color with fluffy hair like little bunnies. Wait, let's look at it again. That's fur? That does not look like fur. That is not real. There's no way. No absolute way. I am getting fooled. Okay, guys. We have got to continue our streak. I don't know how that was real. <laughs> Is that a turtle? First of all, it looks like it has dinosaur feet. And it looks like there's like a dinosaur egg over it. This looks like a dinosaur. Here are our choices. A, gator rabbit. B, pink fairy armadillo. C, helmet head mouse. Or D, fake. Pink fairy armadillo, okay? Pink fairy armadillo. Let's see if I was right. I got it right! Oh my gosh, I am doing so good. Pink fairy armadillos are found in the warm sandy parts of Argentina. They are excellent diggers and the smallest members of the armadillo family. What? It looks like a pink fairy. A pink fairy shell. What? All right, guys, this is my last one. I've got to get this right. Right? What? That looks like a spider with a cat or a dog face on it. 
What? It literally has a snout and everything. If this is real, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. It's either A, kitty cat spider, B, calico head arachnid, C, cutie pie tarantula, or D, it's fake. It has to be D, it has to be fake, all right? All right, it's fake. I got it right, I got the last one right, guys. I am, I did good. Okay, this is not real. It was made from photos of a tarantula and a cat. And I got five out of seven right, which means I win! I'm ready for my prize. <gasps> Yeti! Thanks, Yeti, you baked me a pie! That was so nice of you! Thank you! <laughs> At least it tastes good. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, if Charlie can, you can too. Charlie can.